before we start, I just want to mention that you're going to have to have your AC system professionally evacuated. You want all the refrigerant drained safely. Um, you can do this at your local shop and then you can come home and do your repair. Let's start over here where we can take out some push clips that connect this cover to the bumper cover. So with your trim tool, pop out the center first, lift it up, and then the rest of the push clip should come along. There should be five push clips at the front here. And once those are off, your bumper cover is disconnected. On the corner of the bumper covers where the bumper meets the fender, you'll see a Phillips head screw. So go ahead and remove that. There's one on each side. Hopefully they're not too rusty. There we go. Do the same to the other side. You have to take out from underneath. Also a Phillips head. If you follow the bumper cover along, you'll see a push clip over here. Most likely these push clips underneath are going to be extra stuck because of sand and debris that makes its way in there over the years. There we go. Got it. Take this out. And now do the same to the other side. And there should be push clips, three of them along here. Mine are missing, but if you have yours, should be one here, one in the middle, one on the other side. Now we have to disconnect the fog lights. So pull down on the splash shield that sits here. And if you, if you have fog lights, that is, press on the connector and unplug the bulb from the socket. There we go. Do this on both sides, of course. Now grab the bumper cover on each side, pull it off of the fender. It's got some pretty stiff clips here. At this point, there are four clips uh, that are attaching the bumper to the headlight bracket and you have to just kind of do a quick solid movement and pull out on it. That'll get the bumper cover off of here. Do the same to the other side. And now you can pull the bumper cover straight off of the vehicle. Now with the bumper off, you can see that this plastic shield will be in the way of disconnecting our lower AC line. So I sprayed these clips with some rust penetrant. That way they come out a little bit easier. A lot of times these are stuck because of sand. There we go. Pull these out. There's three of them. Okay. There's the second one. And the third one's at the front here. Remove the cover. Here's the lower line. A 10 millimeter wrench or socket and ratchet, whatever you have. Break this free. I'm going to work it back and forth a little bit. Okay, take this bolt out. When you pop this line off, you might hear a slight hissing noise. That's just from the vacuum that was created by the machine that evacuated the AC. Now from the top, you can see the upper line that goes to the AC condenser. So let's break the 10 millimeter nut free. There we go. Go ahead and remove it the rest of the way. Take this off and pull the line straight off, just like you did with the bottom. Sometimes you have to wiggle it as you pull because there's an O-ring there. That gets stuck. There it is. Set that aside. Underneath this plastic cover, you'll notice uh, a bracket, one on each side, with a 10 millimeter bolt that attaches this to the radiator support. Take that out. Take the bolt out and you can remove the bracket, set that aside and do the same to the other side. Watch out because the AC condenser is going to want to fall out. Don't let it fall out yet. Now you can take it and lift it off of the bottom supports and slide it right out. There it is. Take the rubber mounts off and save them because we'll have to reuse them on the new one. And they are different from the top and the bottom, so I'm going to leave the tops over here. Flip this over, and you can see how the bottoms are um, slightly different. I'm going to leave those over here. And we have to transfer these over to the new AC condenser before it goes into the car. Let's take these rubber mounts and put them on the new AC condenser.
And now slide it into position, push it up so I can clear the bottom and then just press it down into its mounting holes on the bottom. Slide the mount over the uh, rubber bushing and the mount has a little hook on the top right where it bolts on. Make sure that goes into its slot. Thread the bolt on. Let's do the same to the other side. Let's bottom the mount. Let's connect the lower line to the AC condenser. It's always a good idea to put a new O-ring on it and lubricate that with PAG oil. Let's thread in the mounting bolt. All right, bottom it out. Make sure it's nice and snug. Let's put on this cover while we're here. Put in the push clips, the outer piece in first. And then snap it in or lock it in with the center piece. Before we attach the upper line, let's throw it on the stud that comes with the AC condenser. It has a nice Phillips head cutout at the top so you can actually get a screwdriver in there and bottom it out. You don't need to tighten this extra tight at all. You just have to bottom it out and make sure it's somewhat snug because when you attach the mounting nut to the other end, it actually pulls the whole stud up and automatically tightens both ends of the stud. So having said that, we attach this line. Again, it's always a good idea to put a new O-ring on it. Press the line into the C condenser. Let's put the nut on. Make sure this starts by hand so you don't cross thread it. Oops. All right, nice and snug. Now you can take your bumper cover, line it up with the body, with the headlights. Make sure you don't scratch the headlights. And once it lines up with the brackets underneath the headlights, it should fall right into place. Okay, give it a nice push, just like that. On the side here, it'll line up with the fender. Make sure it, the uh, bumper cover is sitting over those clips and then press it on. They're pretty stiff, so you have to give them a good hit and then do the same to the other side. Let's put these clips in here. Let's reattach the screws on the side here. Make sure they're nice and snug. Do the same to both sides. Don't forget to plug in the fog lights. Do that to both sides. I'm going to put back this screw over here. Okay, put back whatever push clips you had, lock them in. Now that we're done, you can go back to the uh, local shop that you had it drained at and have them refill it with the proper amount of refrigerant and PAG oil. That way the system works as it should.